One of the things that I really appreciate about the Bamfield trip is that all elements of this trip encapsulate our vision at Connect Charter uh, in creating extraordinary citizens. Um, it's not just about an inquiry-based focus of deep learning and understanding around the topic of di biodiversity. Um, it gets students to consider environmental stewardship and their role and their responsibility as uh, ethical citizens. Um, it really fulfills that mandate of being engaged learners, ethical citizens, um, and along with that they have lots of fun. While we go to Bamfield primarily for this hands-on experience in the sciences, there is such a beauty there that you don't see in Calgary, that you can't see away from the ocean. And to have your mind see these things in real life and touch these things, those are new experiences that allow you to be more creative. Uh, think outside the boxes you've created in your mind about the environment around us, about what the definition of beauty is, what the definition of experience is, and then to have to, have to reflect on that forces you to be more creative and think again outside all those balls you've put in your mind about what is or isn't or what can or can't be put into words. Now you're forced to do it because you've never seen this, you've never felt this, you've never been here. Well, one thing I've like really enjoyed about it is like the labs we get to do and we actually get to come down to the water and like collect some marine creatures like in tide pools and we take it back and we get to go look under it in a microscope and back in Calgary we could they could write it on the board do whatever they want but it wouldn't be the same as actually seeing it in person um, and seeing it up close in a microscope is also quite amazing. Do you feel that you have a deeper understanding of the topic from your experience here? I do I feel like kind of doing like the hands-on actually getting to come here and see it like in person, being able to touch it, feel it, see it. Um, I think it has really helped me get a deeper understanding of the actual creatures and the biodiversity here. What, uh, what are one of your favorite creatures that you've seen here? Um, probably the sea star, because I came here like super timid and like not wanting to touch a sea star or even like stick my hand in the touch tank. But then I got to grow more comfortable with the sea star and I feel like they're pretty cool. They're pretty like, awesome predators. I think the thing that they hear the most about is the Alta, so that's going out on sort of the whale watching possible like dredging trip. Uh, I think that's the thing that they hear the most about and that's the thing that like we have to schedule our meals around it so it gets like really dramatic and exciting. Um, you know and they're always talking about oh I hope I see a whatever, I hope I touch a something, you know and they got those experiences. humpback whales and we saw two or sorry three orca whales and we saw sea lions and we saw what else did we see and we saw just right oh and we just saw regular seals and it was so good yeah amazing
how do you think learning about biodiversity in a, in a classroom was different to learning about biodiversity here at Boundfield Marine Science Center? I feel like here it's like you can see it happen and you can just really, you, you interact more it seems to be here and I feel like with interacting more you will learn more and it's more fun once again. Do you think that you have a deeper understanding of biodiversity? Well, I feel like yes, because I'm more engaged here at Banfield, so I definitely have a deeper understanding due to it. This place, there's no other opportunity in a school filled with opportunities that is like this, where you get to just genuinely immerse yourself in, in an inquiry experience. You know, you grow up in Calgary, or even I grew up in a small town in Alberta. You know, you're used to the mountains, you're used to elk, and you're used to cattle. And you don't think, you know, those things you don't think about so much anymore. But you bring them here, and they see crabs. Now, there are hundreds of thousands of crabs on the beach here. So if you grew up here, you'd be like, yeah, they're crabs. But for these guys, they're like, oh my god, they're crabs! And so that it also, and again, they may not be able to like consciously say this, but it also makes them remember that the cattle and the elk and stuff are alive and cool too. That there's somebody in the world who doesn't have those. So, they, so it just sort of widens their perspective if you want. Anyone who says that going to Banfield is just like any other field trip is ignorant of the experiences that these students have, is ignorant about what the students come back to Calgary with. When they come back to Calgary, they didn't just come back with some learning about some fish and uh, sea anemones. They come back with an experience wholly different than what they've experienced in Calgary thus far in their lives. And to see the world as so much bigger and greater with so much more in it than they could have possibly imagined before, that is gold, that is why this trip exists. You get very used to sort of your own environment. And so just being in a different environment, you know, changes your perspective on things. Um, also the amount of work that they're able to do like you know they actually do work here from basically 8 30 in the morning till close to 10 o'clock at night and most of them are like oh my god I can't do that much but they actually find out they can because they end up doing it for four days and yeah they're tired but they're able to keep going I think that I liked the learning experiences they were great hands-on these are things that I would never have gotten the chance to do during my regular life and these are great times with the friends you really enjoy having around and you just learn so many new things and I didn't even know uh, half, the, half this information about uh, marine life before I came here. And what would be a recommendation for future grade nines coming to Banfield? Bring everything, like bring t-shirts, bring tank tops, bring, <laughs> not bring like summer clothes, bring like winter clothes because you never know what's going to be. And run for the showers. <laughs>